Hello. Let me share screen and begin the lecture. Okay, I hope you can see my screen. I'm going to begin the lecture now. My lecture today is uh, Seven Habits of Highly Healthy People. Seven Biblical Habits. What are the Biblical Habits? First and foremost, is health a matter of chance or choice? What do you think? Do our lifestyle choices really make a difference? Whether we are healthy or we are not healthy. Okay, go straight into no habit number one. That's a biblical health habit. Be proactive. According to Stephen Covey, there are seven health habits, right? The first habit is be proactive. Not reactive means what? Solve the problem before it happens. Prevention is better than cure. In the Bible, in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, it says, Physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better, promising benefits in this life and life to come. So in other words, the Bible says, physical training, exercise is very good. Be proactive not reactive. Don't wait until you've got stroke. Then you exercise to regain health. You exercise to prevent diseases. Okay. What are the benefits of exercise? It strengthens the muscles. So if you don't use it, it becomes atrophic. And it improves mental health, reducing stress, lower incidence of depression. And then it strengthens the muscles especially in your respiration. You notice that during COVID-19, more and more people are walking in the parks. They are running around uh, uh, in many, many places. Uh, improve circulation, efficiency, and reducing blood pressure. And reducing the risk of diabetes because of the use of uh, glucose, blood sugar, and and glycogen in the liver. And then it strengthens the heart muscles. Okay, improve the circulation, reduce resting heart rate. So in other words, if you exercise, it's good for the heart to strengthen your heart. It also include increase the total number of red blood cells that transport oxygen. And last of all, it burns fat. Okay, so this is a good, healthy way to lose weight. Okay, these are the BMI chart. I'm happy to tell you uh, my BMI is at the low risk. Okay, it's about 22, sometimes 21. So how do you find out your BMI? Your weight divided by height times height. And then you will get your BMI. Body mass index. So the lower, the better. Okay, habit number two. Begin with the end in mind. What do you mean by begin with the end in mind? It means that you must decide how you're going to die. For me, I have decided to die when it's time to die. I do not want to have my birth certificate written there, die of heart disease or die of stroke. Okay, so decide how you're going to die. Begin with the end in mind. According to this, very rare, this birth certificate of this gentleman who died at 81 years old, died of what? Old age. Okay. Just like Moses, he died when God tells him it's time to die. Isn't that the best way to die? Look at this gentleman. His name is uh, Reverend George McMus. He, he had cancer way back in the 70s. And then he, re, he was a Baptist pastor, contracted uh, colon cancer. And he also discovered that many of his contemporaries, fellow pastors, 
died of cancer, heart disease, died of stroke. And he said, no amount of prayer can reverse these diseases. So he began to write a book, Why Christians Get Sick. So he began to investigate the Bible to find out the reason why people get sick. And then he realized this teaching. It says here in Exodus 15 verse 26. Moses said, if you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, and if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. So in other words, based on this text, these hell comes, okay, healing comes not when you are sick. He says here, I will not bring on you any of the diseases, for I am the Lord who heals you. So in other words, healing comes when you are well, not when you are sick. Okay, so the state of health, you notice the word health is H-E-A-L, heal, T-H. So health is a state of being healed. And how to be healed? Four things. Listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God. That's one. Number two, do what is right in his eyes. Number three, pay attention to his commands. Number four, keep all his decrees. So God has already given us an instructional manual in the Bible on how we can be healthy. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15 says, the Lord will keep you free from every disease. He will not inflict on you the horrible diseases you knew in Egypt, but he will inflict them on all who hate you. So what are the diseases of the Egyptians? According to Deuteronomy. You know, interesting, when the Israelites died, they returned to dust. But when the Egyptians die, they die early. And then they mummify their corpse for us to examine. So according to those doctors, archaeologists, they send these mummies to hospitals for post-mortem. They found out that the Egyptians die below the age of 40. And many of them die of heart disease, cancer, arthritis, diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, rheumatism, and sexually transmitted diseases. So their lifestyle, their diet is very bad because they do not have the Bible. Unlike the Israelites, they follow the commandments of God and they were free from diseases. So this book, Why Christians Get Sick, it says here, with a diagnosis of colon cancer, the author launched an intensive biblical and scientific search to find out why he, a Christian, got sick and to possibly find an alternative treatment to the medical profession, usually unsuccessful one. So he discovered that the Bible tells us that we have to follow God's instruction on what to eat and how to live. Okay, number one, eh? very important, eh? Begin with the end in mind. Decide how you're going to die. Die when it's time. Like this pastor, today he's, I think, 95, 96. He wrote this book in 1976. Today he's still alive, by the way. Okay, he is free from cancer. And unfortunately, many of his contemporaries died. Okay. Okay, habit number three. Put first things first. Understand water therapy. The most important thing you have for you is water. Do you know that? How to drink water. Drink two glasses of water in the morning helps to activate the internal organs. Two glasses. Drink one glass of water before a meal will help in digestion. That means one hour before you have your lunch. Drinking one glass of water before you take a shower helps to lower blood pressure. Drink one glass of water before bed, okay, one or two hours before bed, help to prevent stroke and heart disease. So all you know, you need to drink at least 12 glasses of water. Speaking of which, I better drink now. So 
So we must drink pure water, not tap water. You can see uh, today we cannot drink water from the springs or from the well because of pollution. Okay, pesticides, industrial waste, landfills, leaking gas tanks, and all the municipal treatment, they put chlorine and fluoride and so on. And this is no, no. Huh? Don't drink soft drinks. It's very, very bad. Look at the sugar content. So a lot of young people are drinking sweet drinks. No wonder uh, when they take vaccination, their heart has a lot of inflammation due to sugar. Uh, 20 ounces of cola is equivalent to 16 teaspoons of sugar. And uh, it, there's a study shows that there's a link between chlorinated water and cancer. So if you drink water directly from the tap without filtration, it can cause cancer. So today I like to uh, share with you uh, this water filter that I got free. Okay, I'm offering to you free. Uh, don't have to pay. Uh, it costs about one thousand over dollars. It's a system four. Okay, so what you do is you just install on your tap. You switch it on, and then there are two switch. Switch to the filter, and then switch on. You can drink water, and it's alkaline water, by the way. Okay, so what are the system for? It, number one, uh, it, it has a sediment filter. It filters all the suspended particles like rust, dirt, and so on from the pipes. And then second, uh, it filters water and give you minerals. Okay, there are a lot of minerals. Third, it gives you alkalinity, okay, and oxygen. Number four, it removes odor, chlorine, okay, and make the water sweeter. I was told uh, by my friend, uh, she installed this, and uh, she said there's oxygen bubbling up as a result of the filtration. So she really liked the water very much. You can see the oxygen flowing. So oxygen is very good for our body. And you can see, this is the test uh, they sent to set scope okay, in Teban Gardens. So they sent this sample. This is the World Health Organization for Drinking Water, the standard. And this is the standard in 2017. And this is our sample water that we gave them. Okay, so they have this kind of testing. They test for E. coli, turbidity, uh, nitrate, chlorine, on all the heavy metals, and found that they are very, very minute, 0.001% of pollutants. So you drink this, you don't have heavy metals. Okay. So water is very important. So today I have good news. Uh, instead of getting this free, you pay 128 just to install. But today, if you use, if you order under me, it's practically free. You just pay 88, okay, and have it free. So once a year, you just change, you pay $188 to replace the four cartridges. But anyway, it's so good that I ordered two for my family. So drinking, Alkaline water helps your blood to flow. You can see eh, when you drink alkaline water, your blood start to unclump. Okay, so it can carry more oxygen. Because if your body is acidic, your blood will all clump together like here. That's why a lot of congestion, a lot of heart disease and stroke come as a result of this congestion. So the more alkalinity you have, the better the blood flow. Okay, so if your water is acidic because of chlorine, it can cause many, many diseases, especially cancer. 
Okay, habit number four. Think win-win. You need to balance between alkaline and acidity. Okay, the body cannot be too acidic. It cannot be too alkaline. This is what the Chinese believe also. Okay, balance between uh, yin and the yang. But I, I don't believe in the yin and the yang so much as acidity and alkalinity. Once you balance it, your health okay, will be assured. So it's very important uh, to choose food. Okay, what are the foods uh, that are acidic? What are the foods that are alkaline? Of course, it's impossible to choose all the alkaline food and avoid all the acidic food. Impossible. Okay. Some of the food you have to eat, but they are of low acid acidity. Okay. Some of the foods, fruits or food types that are alkaline, that you eat more of them. Like for example, sugar is stevia. That is the highest form of alkaline. It's a natural leaf sugar. Okay, when it comes to sugar. But other form of sugar is not so alkaline. But there are some sugar that is very acidic. Okay. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Okay, like for example, lowest acidic will be processed honey and molasses. But if you have raw honey, that is alkaline. Okay. And fruits, huh? most of the fruits are alkaline. Some fruits are acidic. Okay, but the most alkaline fruits is lemon, watermelon, lime, grapefruit, mangoes, and papaya. Okay, and what about beans, vegetables, and legumes? Now on this side, eh, these are very acidic beans, and the rest here, they are very alkaline. You can take this chart, okay, and uh, review. Uh, you can find in Google, just type. Acidic, acid and alkaline food chart, you will have this chart for you. And what about nuts? Okay, the most alkaline nut is almond. Okay, and then uh next one will be chestnut. Most of the nuts are acidic, but the worst acidity will be peanut. That's why peanut uh, you cannot eat too much. Okay, cashew is uh not so acidic, but still acidic. And then seeds are low acid. You may can eat a lot more. What about oil? The most alkaline oil is olive oil. Okay. Most acid, uh, the acid oil will be corn oil. So from now on, choose uh, more of the olive oil. Okay, and flaxseed oil. What about grains and cereal? Uh, these are the S alkaline. So if a child falls sick, don't give them porridge. Because white, white rice uh, is quite acidic. Uh, give them millet, quinoa, wild rice, and so on. All meats are acidic. The most acidic will be beef, pork, and shellfish. Fish is not so acidic. What about eggs and dairy? Okay, uh, breast milk is alkaline. Soy milk and so on is alkaline. Whereas animal products are acidic. The most acidic one will be cheese. Okay, beverages, soft drinks is the worst. Beer and so on. Follow, and then followed by coffee and tea. Now, if you drink ginger tea, green tea, herb tea, all these are alkaline. Now you know how to balance. Okay. How to deacidify your body? That means make it more alkaline. You drink lemon water. Just slice it. Uh, put it in uh, warm water in a jar or room temperature and soak it throughout the day and drink. Okay, you can put a little bit of rock salt inside to taste. Okay, too much acidity is bad. Next one will be how to reduce acidity will be do a liver and go better detox huh? because our liver is actually a filter. So over the years, you never service the filter. That's how the filter looks like, very congested. So I suggest that you do a liver detox to clear all these uh, gallstones as a result of filtration.
You can see many of my clients, they do detox and pass out all these stones. These stones are causing congestion, which increase the acidity. And this is a heavy metals. And this high cholesterol. Okay. And this is medicine. Uh, this is uh, cancer. This is heavy metals. This is high cholesterol. And these are worms. Okay. These are parasites. So even detox can pass out parasites. So do a detox to make your body more alkaline. Number five, seek first to understand the purpose of food and then use them properly. What is the purpose of food? You must understand different colors are good for different parts of the body. The foods are actually medicine. Okay, We don't have to take medicine from the pharmacy. We take medicine from the food that we eat. For example, purple or blue. Maintain health of the urinary tract. Uh, give you healthy kidneys, healthy memory and prevent aging. And then what about orange? Uh, orange fru fruits strengthen the immune system, prevent heart diseases and improve the eyes. Yellow, eh? yellow increase immunity, okay? prevent some cancer and give you healthy eyes and skin. Uh, red, improve memory, improve urinary tract. And these are the red. We need to eat all colors. Okay. And what about uh, green? Okay. And white, white inside. Huh? They are green outside, white inside, or yellow outside, white inside. Reduce the risk of cancer, heart disease, and keep the cholesterol low. And then greens, healthy vision, strong teeth, reduce cancer. So one must eat to live and not live to eat. As you can see, what makes us healthy? 50% is due to our behavior, okay? Our lifestyle, our diet. 20% is our environment. 20% is our genes. And 10% is hospital care. So unfortunately, most people are spending 88% in medical services, 4% on health, and 8% on others. That's wrong. So be an enlightened person to choose health. So let thy food be thy medicine, and thy medicine be thy food. The food you eat I can either be the safest and most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison. Choose wisely. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, says, And the Lord said, See, I have given you every herb that you see, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit you seek, and to you shall be food. So the diet uh, for Adam and Eve uh, is actually a vegetarian diet, which is the most healthy form of diet. So if you would like to make an appointment to see me to, for advice and health screening, I will give you a free book written by George McMus, Why Christians Get Sick, okay, and Know About God's Original Diet. Okay, number six, synergize. Apply holistic health principles. You know, now we are our environment is very polluted, okay? Urban pollution, secondhand smoke, exhaust from the cars, and then we have viruses and bacteria. And then indoor, eh, also full of pollutants, pathogens, formaldehyde, secondhand smoke, okay, all the small particles of pollutants. So I want to show you this a very powerful air purifier. Don't worry about the price. It's very, very cheap. You can get it free, okay? If you order through. Okay, so now I'm doing this fact-finding. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
，有人抽烟啊，有人抽烟，尤其现在啊，很多人在家里工作嘛，每、嗯、个抽烟啦、啊，不然就炒。煮咖喱鸡啦，或者是有养宠物，嗯、有很多种那种味道哈、哦嗯，或者黑色这种、嗯、，OK， 说这个就像 a i r p o l l u t i o n 这样、嗯，然后呢，我现在就、呃、按这个 button，、嗯、我先 stop 那个 a i、呃、那个那个那个烟哈、哦，然后呢，这个就是用这个 remote control 了哈、啊嗯、，OK， 然后我就开开那个用 remote control 来 control 这副离子净化器，就按那个 on on，OK，、嗯、okay, 所以你看多快它就可以吸，嗯，就把那些东西全部吸。嗯吸进去里面有一个碳粉的啊，吸进去里面 one set 里面有 one set of four layer 的 h i p a filters 跟 carbon filter， so h i p a filters 是跟那种在 ICU 用那种 filter 是 similar 的，好、嗯、啊，还有 carbon filter 是帮助去除味道的，所、so, 以那个 h i p a filters 可以啊消灭掉那种细菌。嗯，所以我们现在都很特别的哦，你们如果还是先帮助顾客的健康。然后呢，顾客健康，顾客就漂亮。顾客漂亮呢，哦，你就会做得很好，你做得很好，那么你就可以带带给更多的人，带着幸福。我们做工要做的幸福，好吗 ？Okay, so this HIPA, this、uh, Alano Air Purifier is worth six nine nine, and you can get it free. Eliminate bacteria and viruses, especially the COVID nineteen. Omicron Delta virus eliminate bad odor, cigarettes smell, and then it's tested by Singapore laboratory. It's touch screen, and it can detect haze, and give you air quality sensor, auto air cleaning fan speed, and you can have it at sleep mode. That means it's very quiet, and the coverage is five hundred square feet, and it produces large amount of negative ions. So we look at the testimony, and it says here it helped my sister to overcome sinus. Okay, and then it says here I wake up in the morning with sinus and wheezing now no more. Okay, and then、uh, some people give testimony and they say、uh, eliminate bacteria and viruses. So a lot of people stop sneezing after using the filter. And then、uh, people who are smoking at home they use this. And the smoke is no more. So it's sold in Shopee、uh, at six nine nine, and it's sold in、uh, Carousel second hand at three two zero. You can get from me at ninety five, brand new. Okay, brand new. You see, you can get the water filter at eighty eight. Okay, alkaline water and the air purifier at ninety five. You can. It's almost free, right? Okay. Habit number seven: sharpen the saw. What do you mean? We need to go for constant checkup to find out what's wrong with us. I'm very afraid to go and see doctor now, so I have a special device called the quantum magnetic resonance analyzer. Okay, and we are conducting a health screening. Christmas appreciation high tea come free health screening worth twenty dollars. So you come this Wednesday from three to five at、uh, Adonis HQ. They are sponsoring this meeting. Ah,、uh, this Wednesday from three to five, I will do a health screening. Okay, I'm going to show you the report. How it looks like when you do a screening. Okay, do you see this one? You notice that this was taken last year, twenty、uh, second of December. It was my health report. It has ninety eight page report. Okay, it can detect diseases. The accuracy rate is ninety five percent. Okay, you can see my reading was not very good. So after I know my reading was not very good, I decided to do something about it. See, my bowel secretion is very weak. So I decided to do something about it. Look at my reading now; it's normal. Okay, by doing detox, by taking、uh, 
drinking healthy water, take good supplements and so on. So it does make a difference. Do you see Anna? See? My bowel secretion is weak. So now improve. Okay. 50% improvement. So this is a 98-page report. You can measure your body from head to toe. So there's a summary report of all your problem areas. You can highlight what are the problem areas and let you know what to do. So you can also make an appointment to see me or we can see each other on Wednesday. Okay. Any question, uh, Mark? Just you and me.